You want to go for a ride? Come on. Get in the trailer. Get in the trailer. Good girl. Good girl. So if you saw last week's video, you saw kind of our plans coming up and today is going to be our gear test so we've got our bike trailers loaded up we got pistol in one all our gear in the other we're headed out for hopefully a 30 mile ride with lots of breaks and we're gonna come back and set up our tent and check all our gear out make sure we are ready for the kd trail let's do it <clears throat> A little steep here, ain't it, hun? You in your smallest gear? <laughs> I'm in my smallest. <laughs> Florida's not very hilly, but this is actually, I think, the hilliest place in Florida, so. Plenty of little climbs, huh? Woo! You feel the trailer on the hills, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we rode just under 32 miles um it took us that's at 10 30. so total time of four hours and 20 minutes ride time three hours and 15 minutes our average speed was 9.2 miles an hour okay I, I mean, that's good. I thought it would be less, honestly. It says I burned 1,200 calories. I, I believe I did. I should have ate more than 400. Yeah. <laughs> it was a grind. I, I, I've ridden that I've ridden that route a bunch of times, but never pulling a trailer. And it's slightly hilly, but not really hilly. But you put a big, heavy trailer with loaded stuff, yeah. when you hit a slight hill, you know it. It was like, oh, this is, uh, I need some more gearing, but. So on the way back after the turnaround, um, Dave took my tail bag and put it in his trailer because <laughs> I got on the bike. I was like, oh, this bike's getting heavier every time I get off and get back on. So he took that off and that actually helped me a lot. Did it? Yeah, I noticed yeah. it. Well, and I, it, it's good that it helps you, but I also think I want to try it before the trip find some way to get a fender that goes around there. So if we get rain or something, not getting into Pistol's <laughs> trailer. Pistol look like sprayed with mud. Yeah. She wouldn't enjoy that. Maybe. No, no. Yeah, we got to protect her, but she also has to see, so. Um, Don't mind. I'm thirsty. Now I guess it's a matter of getting our tent set up. Oh gosh, we're sleeping in a tent. We are sleeping in a tent. We got to test all this out. This actually, we we had a different tent, the Hubba we, Hubba. We have a, a re, yeah, Hubba Hubba. It's a really good, super ultralight backpacking tent for two, but for two and a half. With pistol, it's it's really just too tight. So we ended up getting a little bit bigger one. We have not tried it yet. So we're gonna try that tonight. Um, and we also got a different sleeping bag situation than we used last time, so. Uh, lots of new stuff to try out, which is the purpose of this mission, so. So we're eating some dehydrated food for dinner? Yep. <laughs>
Okay, we got the tent up. These directions were hilarious. <laughs> In my mind, I'm wondering if the person who has the other model has our instructions yeah. and we have theirs because I'm pretty sure these don't go to this tent. There's um, there's no green loops. No. Everything talks about hooking to the green loops. There's no green loops. Um, and then some tie down features were different. Anyway, we a, figured it out just though. Just use your common sense and. Yeah, so should we unload the rest of our gear? Let's see what it looks like inside. Yeah, first let's get our uh, sleeping pads with bags in here. No I'm, food in there, sorry. I'm beat. <laughs> yeah, I bet. You go from riding six miles to four hours. Isn't that like my MO? That's... I'm proud of you. That explains my personality 100%. I have not ridden a bike except you, for maybe 10 miles. You've ridden this new bike like four times. Yeah. The longest ride was probably seven or eight miles. Yeah. You pulled pistol in the trailer twice. Yeah. And today we go on a 32 mile hilly ride prepping for an adventure. 250, 500 mile ride possibly. Possibly. <laughs> That's me in a nutshell. Yeah, I love it. Proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. The last <laughs> third of that trail was quite a challenge. Yeah, you feel that trailer on those hills for sure. A lot of, yeah. Not for you, Pistol. Follow me for other recipes. <laughs> Stir it up. Okay. Make sure you keep that bottom good. You're really getting it. Like you are, you are. I've eaten these a lot. <laughs> I, here's the, my, my, my uh, safety tip of the day with these type of meals. Now, typically, we're gonna on this trip. We're gonna have one person meals. This is a two person. Yeah. Typically, you'll do a one person, and you just eat it out of the bag. Um, but we have these old ones, so I think we'll get some plates out, and we'll maybe dump this on there. But um, one time when I was out backpacking in Montana, we, me and my friend, we did some crazy long day, way up in altitude, starving. Got to where we we're gonna set up camp, and I opened up. Uh, I can't remember what it was, might have been chilly, but it was a two-person thing. And I add the water, and you have to wait for everything to rehydrate. So you zip this up and let it set for like 15, 20 minutes, whatever. Each, each one's different. But I was so hungry, I had the two-person chili, I believe. And I remember sitting against a tree going, I can't wait. <laughs> so I started eating it. It wasn't, I didn't even care what it tasted like. I just get it in my belly. So I ate this two-person meal and then it continued to hydrate in my belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got a basketball in there. I was, oh, I was, I was, I was hurting so bad. <laughs> Lessons are learned. And he's passing that information on to you so you can learn as well. All so right. 15 minutes for that? 15, 20 minutes and we eat. Oh yeah. It's, wow, it's hot and a lot. It looks good. It smells delicious. Oh man, yeah, that smells good. 
It is definitely hot. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to let that cool. Wowie. Rice and beans, baby. <laughs> is this a good meal for a tent? <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't really thought about that. Okay. Well, Oops. we'll let that cool a minute. <clears throat> or, who am I kidding? You know I'm going in. One thing about these meals, it's actually really good. When you're really putting in like long hikes, or I'm assuming the same thing with long rides, you're so hungry, everything tastes so good. So the first time I, I did a big long trip with a friend backpacking, it was uh, nine days. We didn't sit another human being for nine days. We just, uh, amazing, this wilderness part of Montana. And um, we had all mountain house because someone I worked with actually had a relative that worked at mountain house, which wasn't far from where I worked, the company in Oregon. And so we were getting cases of like the chili and beef stroganoff, and those were my favorites. So we had this, I was just, on the mountain every night I was eating chili or this it's like just like this poured in it is like this yeah is, this is the best chili I've never had chili better than this it's the best chili ever I got home and I bought like a big case of it for the house just to eat and the first day home. I got home from work and made it I was like this stuff tastes <laughs> terrible <laughs> I think you had that chili for decades I did I did that's not bad it's good it's calories okay I'm gonna eat my dinner and then I'm gonna eat my dessert it's a freeze-dried ice cream sandwich. So that's all it is. It says you can take it to outer space. It did. Oh, oh look, it's even wrapped in paper. So like if Elon Musk wants to. Yes. All right. Hmm. Wow. There you go. You take a bite first. Me first? Yeah. Feels like I'm gonna be eating like styrofoam yeah this is actually real i looked at the ingredients. it's real ice cream no i know it's i read yes this is a real <laughs> ice cream sandwich Dude. really i have two of them do i need to get my own dude <laughs> what <laughs> they take an actual ice cream sandwich and freeze dry it that's all that's what they do Dude, it's gonna blow your mind. Wow. That's good. <laughs> That's so good. I mean, <clears throat> I don't need a lot of it, actually. It is very good. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna head to yep. bed any moment now. Very soon. I'm so whooped. Yeah. Dave's gotta blow his bed up. What? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Let's go in the van. Okay, I mean, it is a little funny. We have a perfectly good bed like 10 feet away. Yeah. Okay, how about the charging situation here? Yeah. Yeah, so I have you set up here. I'm already all charged. So tonight I've already charged three GoPro batteries, my Hero 7, my Session, my phone. That's off your watch. Oh, weird. I guess you got aggressive blowing up your bed. <laughs> <laughs> and Pistol Girl, we got to get you to bed, okay? All right. Let me get you in bed. Like what in the heck? Oh. Oh. Okay, come here. You gotta get in bed. There you go. That's a good puppy. Yeah. Snuggly. Okay, there's an extra blanket if you get cold. Alright. Alright. <laughs> see you in the morning. Good night. See you in the morning. There's a train situation. And Pistol's already worked her way all the <laughs> way up right here. She says, I'm gonna sleep up here with you guys. That's okay. You can sleep here with us. Yeah. 
What do you reckon this train's gonna go by all night, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of think so. I don't think our tents is inside as well as our van is. No. Well, I don't think so. Oh, there's an inchworm in here. Is it? Oh no, it's a string. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We can sleep through a tent. I grew up, I mean, we could see through a train. I grew up with a train in my you backyard. Did it, dude. Train. <laughs> Literally. I'll manage. What do you think? She's liking her new spot up here. All right. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. learned a lot last night. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, what happened, baby? I think the pistol reached up here at night and popped this. They're a one-way valve, so you can blow them up. But they're not super airtight, so like 4.30 in the morning, this thing was so flat, <laughs> and my shoulder and hip hurt so bad. So I don't know what happened. I'm playing with pistol. Yeah, and, um... So basically, then I was all stiff and sore, so then I pulled back up and it feels great, but lessons were learned. I um, didn't know there's a certain area on this mat for your hip and upper body, and I was down too far on the mat, so my hip was in the ground. So when he was talking about blowing it up, it felt like a different bed. I'm like, how? Because... I weigh less than you. My hip is in the ground and I'm fully inflated. So, once I scoot it up, it was a different bed. <laughs> anyway, between the uh, beds and the train and the loud oh my car. Gosh. How many times did the train go by? I don't know, but also there was construction going on and there was like a vehicle backing up at least every hour. It was like a minute of the beep 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 backing up noise. It was a reminder to me how well insulated our van is because we've camped in Santos campground a lot. I've noticed the train once in a while but it's not that loud. Last night was different than tent. Yeah it was loud. Anyway are we ready to do this? Are we ready to head out of Florida? Get on the road? Yeah. All right carry on <laughs> <laughs> carry on hey thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode for ad free content early access behind the scenes footage and other extras join us on patreon to find out more click the link in the description box below thanks again and carry, carry on, on.